When you're 20,000 leagues under the sea and your captain's gone crazy, well, just come to me and we'll flee to the mermaid village and then drill for oil. Oh, this is the topical storm. Yeah. Topic number one. Which words spring to mind when I say Hillary Clinton? Down to earth? Relatable? Robot Kraken? Maybe, but you're about to see her in an all new light because footage of Hillary Clinton doing a Forrest Gump parody back in 1995 has resurfaced. Take a look. You know, that's my house back there. My mama always told me the White House is like a box of chocolates. It's pretty on the outside, but inside there's lots of nuts. What a great joke. I assume Janet Reno penned that one. Here's some more. Mama always told me, Hillary, Hillary Gump, life is like a hairstyle. You just keep changing it till you find something that works. Fun yes, this resurfaced sketch of Hillary Clinton stuffing jokes down the throat of comedy's dead body. That was definitely a great idea. Special thanks to whichever drunk intern told her, Mrs. Clinton, we'd like you to pretend to be a severely learning disabled person on a bench for a few minutes. What you've seen, you cannot unsee. Even hot pokers, they won't work. Topic number two, poker. I don't even know it. Being a celebrity lookalike is a constant struggle for some now. I should know because I'm constantly being mistaken for Dom Selleck. Look at that. It's uncanny. For Max Kessler, however, it certainly worked out well. He noticed he bore a striking resemblance to a certain Hollywood heartthrob. So he took to the website Reddit, posting this picture with the caption, The name of Adam Sandler's character in his new movie, The Do-Over, is Max Kessler. My name is Max Kessler. Oh, yeah. And I look just like him. Hmm, I smell a paternity suit. Catching wind of this, Sandler reported, responded rather with the challenge, but can you do this, Max? To which Max asked, impressed. So Adam Sandler, being the man of the people that he is, offered a proposal. Okay, you can come party with me uh, with the better Max Kessler at the do-over premiere, May 16th, rock and roll. And like the parent trap before them, Sandler and his long lost twin met up and hit the red carpet in puffy coated style. Max asked Sandler if he would like to trade lies for a while, to which Sandler replied, a hearty, no! Oh, Adam then consulted his friend Marshall Mathers to see if he'd made the right decision. Honestly, man, what, what are you gonna do now? Make another bull movie? Another chick who doesn't like you? You know, that was your way out right there. Hmm. Now you're stuck. Wow, a bit harsh, Eminem. I thought you were like that sweet candy. Melt in your mouth, not in your hands. Got a little melty there. Topic number three. You guys know how basketball trick shots work, pretty much. You just throw the ball and then turn around and walk away like you don't even care. And uh, just be all cool. And then it goes in the net and you're an internet star. Like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect shot. It's not his fault, though, because he's actually a soccer player and he's not used to using his hands. Check him out on his home turf. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> he should take a vacation from trick shots and maybe just enjoy a nice, quiet game of golf. Let's see that. <laughs> Here they come, brother. It's time for us to take off. Yeah. I don't even want to go back that way. That thing popped off right where I was standing. Well, that escalated quickly. We didn't even get his, him to see him swing the golf club. Oh, well, at least it's not a god-awful Forrest Gump impression. Oh, topic number four. Otters are the puppies of the sea, and they are indeed adorable. Watch this little wriggler merrily munch on a scrap of lettuce. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, here we are. I'm just hungry, and this has great roughage fiber. I'll have regular stools for these two days. The Lettuce Advisory Board, if it exists, should recruit this sea otter to promote healthful eating. Oh, it's so sweet. Just like that pro hygiene group 
who used cute ferrets to remind people to take baths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, those sea otters may be cute, but if they get the chance, they'd eat your face and steal your car. So be careful out there. Yum, 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 yum. You're so delicious. I just love lettuce so much. Topic number five. This story was sent to us by Zadok Forgeron using hashtag topical storm. What up, Zadok? And he used that on Twitter. Now, it's not totally uncommon to see a politically tinged obituary. Last year, a New Jersey woman told mourners, quote, in lieu of flowers, please do not vote for Hillary Clinton. And as this presidential race heats up, a Virginia woman has some final thoughts before she fell into the big sleep. Her obit reads in part, quote, faced with the prospect of voting for either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, Marianne Nolan of Richmond chose instead to pass into the eternal love of God on Sunday. Marianne not only bravely battled and succumbed to lung cancer, she threw down the gauntlet for obnoxious celebrities like Lena Dunham, Miley Cyrus, and Whoopi Goldberg, who threatened to leave the country if Donald Trump is elected. But when you compare the two escape routes, moving to Canada, kind of a wuss move. It's a little lame. If you really want to take a strong stance, go big or go home, starlets. Like Marianne did. Yeah. Hint. If you have any weird stories you'd like to see in the tropical storm, go ahead and tweet me at Kennedy Nation. Also, find me on Instagram and use hashtag topicalstorm.